Hello Cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. We are so happy you have joined us. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, do me a favour and click that subscribe button below me and then click the bell and select how often you want to be notified of new videos on the Cheapskates Club channel. It's free. You take the second to click the bell, uh, the button and the bell and you won't miss a video. Now I have to ask the question, are you a shopaholic? Have you ever just run into the supermarket for a loaf of bread and a carton of milk and come out with a bag full of groceries and, you know, $50 lighter? Do you always ignore your budget when you shop with a particular friend? Do you spend more at a certain shopping centre? If you've answered yes to any of these questions, then you need, well, you need to recognise your spending triggers because you could be a shopaholic. But don't worry, because there is a cure. You want to ask yourself, what it is about shopping that makes you want to spend just spend 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 you know, stores employ people specifically to study the shopping habits of their customers then they employ other people to place their merchandise in just the right spot to attract your attention but it triggers your spending urge and it tempts you to buy if you're not aware of these things, it works in their favour. By learning to recognise and then control these triggers, you've taken the first step to ditching the spendaholic attitude. Now, there are a few things that you can do that will help with this. There are a few simple tricks that can turn you from a spendaholic to a champion cheapskates style shopper. And they're all easy to do. Number one is avoiding exposing yourself to the things that, that will tempt you to spend. So stay away from the shops except when you absolutely need to buy. Don't watch the shopping channels on TV. Do not open those sale emails. Click through the ads if you have to. When you do shop, make a list stick to it and then just leave. Just browsing, window shopping can lead to buying and it's usually things bought on impulse and they often do the most damage to your budget. Then plan your shopping. Go with a purpose in mind. Use that list. If you pick up something that isn't on the list, don't put it in the trolley with your other shopping or hang on to it. Put it in the baby seat, or if you have a baby in the baby seat, put it in that smaller basket that's often at the end of the trolley. Then when you get to the register, if you still really need it, note I said need it, buy it. Generally, you'll find by the time you've walked around and finally made it to the register, you'll have decided not to buy it anyway. So you can just hand it over and keep your cash. Extras that you don't really need, but you buy anyway, they really push up the total at the cash register. And that does a lot of, a lot of damage to your budget. Now, another thing that will really help spendaholics is to limit your number of trips to the supermarket or to the shopping centre. Don't go every day. Don't browse the shopping centre in your lunch hour or call in on your way home from work. Make it a weekly or a fortnightly trip and do all your shopping in one hit. Now, you'll not only not spend unnecessarily, but you're going to save time, you'll save petrol, you'll save your energy. And you know what? Saving petrol is a big thing with the price of fuel at the moment. That's something we all want to do. So... You know, don't jump in the car and go to the shops because you're bored. 
and don't shop in a weakened condition. And by weakened, I mean shopping when you're hungry or you're tired or you're depressed or you're worried or you're stressed. Because you may find you'll have a tendency to overspend. Emotional spending can cost you big bucks. So just be aware of your mood when you shop and don't let your mood waste your money. Now, on that note, is shopping your hobby? You've probably heard the saying, born to shop. It's a bit of a joke. But is that you? It's not me. I don't like shopping. <laughs> but do you think you're a compulsive shopper? Do you get a rush from shopping and afterwards feel let down and depressed? If this is the case, you might need some professional help with that. Or you could try finding a substitute for the shopping. Something that will give you the same thrill, the same excitement without damaging your budget. So it could be an active sport. It could be an exercise class. Volunteer at a nursing home or a local hospital. Find something else besides shopping to make you feel good. Look at shopping for what it is, a chore. Shopping isn't a recreational activity. It is a chore to be done to help our homes run more smoothly. And I have been saying that forever. Shopping isn't a recreational activity. And if you try all these things, and you're still spending more than you want to or that you can afford, maybe you can turn your knack for shopping into a money-making project. Start a shopping service for others. You'll get the thrill of shopping without spending your money. Shop for friends or neighbours who don't like to shop or don't have the time because they work. Perhaps there's some bachelors <laughs> or senior citizens who need someone to do grocery shopping or select gifts for them. Get creative. Becoming a personal shopper might be the dream job you've always been looking for. But most importantly, spend a holic or not, my advice is to think before you spend. Before you spend any money, think through all of the possible consequences. Decision making is a process of choosing from among two or more courses of action for the best way to achieve your financial goals. That's a long winded way to say, you know, think before you spend. So when those spending temptations try to lure money from your pocket, and this is the prime season for these temptations, because it really plays, Christmas really plays on our emotions. Stop and think before you decide to buy. Ask yourself, you know, is this the best use I can make of my money right now? Am I buying to satisfy an impulse? Will buying this help or hurt me in reaching the goals I've set? Do I really need this? Just some questions to think about and ask. By planning your shopping, making a list and sticking to it and recognising the triggers that make you want to shop, you will get back and maintain control over this area of your life. And if you can do that, you are on the way to living life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. Now, before I go, thank you so much for watching all the way through and for subscribing. Feel free to leave a comment. And if you do, if you could start that comment with debt free, then I know you watched right to the very end of the video. And that just helps me with my planning for future videos. I read every comment and I do my best to answer any questions you may um have and ask in the comments if you have a question pop them in all caps so it stands out just makes it easier for me to find them now another favor there are three simple things you can do like subscribe and share these three things help our channel grow and be recognized more easily and the easier it is to find us 
the easier it is to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, but it can still be done, even in today's crazy world. I'll be back tomorrow night. That's Tuesday the 22nd of November 2022 at 7.30pm with a live show. But until then, happy cheapskating and enjoy living life the cheapskates way.